Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, I want to discuss the topic of why I believe Tesla stock is actually cheap right now if we are taking a long-term perspective on this stock. So given the most recent drops that we've seen with Tesla stock, and especially the minus 15% day that we saw on Thursday, I think there's a lot of opportunities actually presenting itself here for Tesla stock. And so as always, before we get into that, if you all do enjoy the Tesla videos, please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out. But just getting into this topic for today, addressing the current share price, this is Saturday of Labor Day weekend. And so it was up 2.78% in the normal market hours on Friday, and that was $11.32 added on to the share price. However, for the after hours, we are at minus 6.29%, which is minus $26.32 off of the share price. And so even regardless of everything going on right now, just keep in mind when we do have a long weekend, especially with like Labor Day weekend, you know, there's no market day on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So with a long weekend, there's always that slight bit of uncertainty for a lot of investors. So for those investors that have a low risk tolerance or just simply for traders, those people sometimes like to sell off before the weekend just because a lot of things can happen over the weekend. There can be news pieces released over the weekend that could impact stocks in some way or just impact the general stock market in some way. However, that's just something to keep in mind because even on Friday, Fridays alone, even when it's not like a holiday weekend with it just being no market day on Saturday and Sunday, we commonly do see a lot of Red Fridays just because, like I said, there is some uncertainty and confusion with what could happen over those two days that aren't market days. And so I think that's just a little bit more amplified with this weekend as well, especially given the fact that the stock market was just generally red for both Thursday and Friday. And then Tesla has been red ever since Tuesday after the announcement of the $5 billion share offering. So I don't have my crystal ball with me to, to say what's going to happen in the future and especially the short term. I honestly have no idea how next week could turn out. But regardless of all of that, I do think Tesla stock is at a reasonable discount right now. And if we look at the past week for Tesla, we are at minus 11.82% from this point right here. So we're basically around like 1950 per share in terms of like a, a pre-split value for Tesla stock. So regardless of all of this, I actually think this is presenting itself some good buying opportunities for those investors that are in it for the long term. And so there is one thing that I want to address in this video, and that is there seems to be a lot of uncertainty, a lot of panic, and a lot of confusion around Tesla stock right now. Just looking at the comment sections and on Reddit with a bunch of forums and things like that, I've seen plenty of comments with people saying, I, I bought Tesla stock at like $480. I'm already down so much. This is so frustrating. And I've seen other people asking random people in the comment section whether they should hold or sell Tesla. And so just to be honest here, this is tough love for those people. It's because I love you guys. I want to help you, but I have to be honest. If you have to ask a random person online that you don't even know if they have any credibility, especially if you have to ask them whether you should hold or sell your Tesla stock, it's probably likely that you shouldn't have bought Tesla stock in the first place. Because as I've emphasized previously with Tesla stock, it's just one of those that you cannot just buy because, you know, somebody else said this is a good stock. And so you avoid doing the research and just buy it anyways because of course yes you can buy it but I think it's a lot easier to have that long-term vision and have that faith and conviction to hold the stock long term even on the really red days when you've done your own research so that's something I really want to emphasize for those people that are just buying Tesla stock because they think it's easy money or really haven't done a lot of research into it it could come back and bite you because when you have a red day like on Thursday at minus 15 percent that's something that's really going to buy a lot of these investors that haven't really done a lot of research into the company. Whereas with investors like myself that I've done my homework, I understand the long-term future and what's likely to happen. You all have already seen it. Like over this past week, let's, I mean, we can look at what I've lost. I'm down $16,000. I think at one point I was down like $20,000 just in one day. And as you all know, I pretty much don't bat an eye because this doesn't bother me at all. If anything, I'm actually hoping Tesla stock goes lower in value just so I can load the boat on 
on shares sometime mid this month. And so that's just something that I want to emphasize. And honestly, it's just all out of love. I care about these people, but I want them to learn the ins and outs of investing. And when you start investing, you have to learn to do your research on the companies that you pick. And if you don't want to do that research, then the index funds and the ETFs like VOO or SPY are likely ones that are probably much better for those investors if they just don't want to do the research because those are well diversified and things like that. However, I do chase these high growth companies and these high growth stocks and I like to concentrate my portfolio as well to amplify the gains as much as I can. However, something that comes along with that is the fact that when there is a red day, it's a much bigger red day than if I was investing in an index fund or an ETF which like, as you can see right here, NASDAQ down 2.23%. Whereas, you know, if you look at my day for the portfolio, we're at minus 3.69%, minus 0.73% for Apple. And also if you compare, especially on Thursday, where it was down like 10% for the portfolio, the portfolio takes a much, much bigger hit when you are investing in these high growth companies. And so I can personally stomach that because I have a high risk tolerance. I understand it's a trade-off. If you want high growth on the red days, you're also going to have high loss losses as well. But I understand it's essentially similar to VOO. Really, nothing changes in terms of the concept. With VOO, for example, let's say some days you gain 1.5%, some days you lose 1.5%, but generally the trend is upward, so it ends up gaining around like 10% per year. Now with Tesla, of course, and like with these high growth companies, it's pretty difficult to estimate like, of course, your average annual return because it always changes depending on how the company is doing. But it's kind of similar to like with VOO, except instead of being plus plus 1.5% on some days and minus 1.5% on some days. With Tesla, sometimes you have like plus 4 to 5% on some days or minus 4 to 5% on some days. And then like with Thursday, we had a minus 15% day. But in the past, we've also had a plus 15% day for Tesla. So essentially, the difference between a lot of these growth companies and of course, index funds and also ETFs like VOO and SPY, the main difference between those two is like the, the values of growth and the values of the losses that you can expect on some days. And so so I can personally stomach these losses. It's something that doesn't bother me. I'm not really an emotional investor. And that's honestly one of the best mindsets to have in the market, in my opinion. Of course, anything that I say or have said in this video is not to be considered financial advice. But just addressing Tesla stock, what I'm saying here is I do think this stock is cheap right now. And I'm especially interested to see what happens in this next upcoming week as well. And especially in the case that Tesla doesn't get included in the S&P 500 of this week, because it seems like a lot of investors are placing their last hope in Tesla being included in the S&P 500 this week. And like I said, I don't have my crystal ball. I can't predict whether it's actually going to be included next week or not. But I think people are just really banking on this S&P 500 inclusion way too much. Honestly, I have a future video today that I will be discussing more of that in depth, but it's pretty much irrelevant whether the S&P 500 includes Tesla or not. Yes, it would be nice. Yes, it would help out the stock a little bit, but it honestly doesn't matter to me Either way, I didn't invest in Tesla because I thought the S&P 500 would include it and them not including it wouldn't fundamentally change anything that I feel about Tesla. I've already understood the fact that institutional investors have continually gotten Tesla wrong over these past five years, especially. So I honestly think people are making such a big deal about the S&P 500. And I also don't think people realize that it can be included at any time the S&P 500 committee chooses for it to be. So it's not like a specific date. And if it doesn't get included on this date, then it'll never get included. That's not how it works. But like I said, I'll address that in a future video. But I see a lot of opportunity with Tesla right now, and especially in this upcoming week, if the S&P 500 inclusion is not announced, because there is a lot of panic going on, at least from what I've seen so far in the comment sections on various videos, and also in the forums and on Reddit, and generally what the casual investing audience is saying about Tesla stock right now. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of doubt. And on Honestly, that's exactly what I want to see if I'm looking for some deals to scoop up. At this point, I'm just like, okay, I understand Tesla's long-term vision. I know what I believe in. So if CNBC and other news corporations just want to put a bunch of bearish Tesla people on their channels so they can go and, and spew out bearish sentiment around Tesla, go ahead and let them honestly, because that just gives me a better chance at getting more deals for Tesla and more time to scoop up Tesla while I think it's cheap in terms of like the long-term perspective. Now, if you're investing in Tesla for the short
short term and just looking for some easy money, this is not the stock to do it. Tesla is just inherently volatile because so many people like to trade it and things like that. So this is just one of those stocks that is likely going to be volatile far into the future. It's just how Tesla is. And so trying to trade Tesla on the short term or making some short term gains is really risky in my opinion, just because of the fact, like I said, Tesla is volatile and there's constantly changing sentiment around Tesla depending on what the stock is looking like for that day. I honestly think most analysts don't understand Tesla. So if you're basing a lot of what you believe around Tesla on the analysts that come on CNBC, I think it's important that you actually do your own due diligence and look into the company yourself. Because of course, you can listen to what everyone is saying, but do you actually know if it's true or if it's a good point? Unless you look into exactly what Tesla is doing, research some information about it, and things like that. So I think that's very important. And at least right now, there's just so much fear around Tesla where I'm actually seeing some opportunities. It goes along with that statement of Warren Buffett, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Well, I'm seeing a lot of fear around Tesla right now. So I'm definitely seeing some opportunities for purchasing. So that's why I do think Tesla stock is cheap, but cheap in the case of it being a long-term investment. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be continuing some discussion about the S&P 500 in a future video. So please make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this. And also feel free to sign up to Robin Hood and Weeble in the description below. If you sign up with my referral link, you'll get some free stocks. And especially with Weeble right now, you'll get two free stocks if you sign up with my link and deposit $100 into your account. You can take that $100 right back out after you get your free stocks. So it's basically just free stocks, free money, nice passive income. But hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.